am the princess. All right, everyone, let's see. Oh, good day, everyone, it's Peachy. Somehow Mario had found the strength to cross the desert sweltering duns. Dang! Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankfully for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins old man Watcha had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? Next time on Super Paper Mario. No, I'm kidding. Chapter 14, um... Monster of the Ruins. There's a monster in these ruins? Since when is there not a monster is more likely the question. Um, sure, Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand Danes. I know it's not Dane, but I just call it that. Uh, be, be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Bowser? It's Bowser. I got a hunch it's Bowser. No one has creepy castles or dangers like this unless it's Bowser. Or Bowser Jr. But, um, I don't think Bowser Jr. was in paper form just yet. Then we got, um, blue shells again. And instead of... Yikes, yikes, yikes! Mario almost caught on fire. Okay, everyone, time for my next trick of plumber on fire. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, what game was it? Was it Super Mario 64? Um, the one where if Mario gets caught, um, if he get burns himself, he's like, Oh, hot, hot! Oh! Well, in this one, he's like, Oh! When he, when he hurts himself. Uh, oh, no, 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 it was Super Mario Galaxy, wasn't it, peoples? Oh! Poor Mario. I'm sorry I tortured you so much, Mario, but... Sometimes you can just be a misery and paper. I mean, a misery and Mario Party. I don't know. I think like DK retired from messing me up in Mario Mario Party. So then he decided to move on to um, um, Mario Kart and mess me up there. All right. Let's see. Let's try not to get lost now, okay? Try not to. Try not to lose me so easily next time. Too bad you can't like really ground. Or no, you can ground pound, but it's like not until much later. It's like seriously, Mario. Oh, didn't you learn anything about ground pounding? Oh, okay. I guess you can only jump in 3D. You. This is like. So weird sometimes, like you would think that after you hit a specific block, it would just stay there, but then it doesn't. Then it's gone again. And we got some more squigglets. Pick it. Um, sure. Something happened outside the room. That's totally gonna be Tippy's new um catchphrase. Wow, I just barely pressed the F button, or I think it did it itself when something happened. I don't know what those are, but it's really not of our concern in this matter at this time. Uh, it's a ruins key. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mm, looks like we're doing good so far. And it's kind of good that I'm back to recording these. Wah! You should be able to open the door. Oh, sure, there's something there. I'll show you. Excuse me, I have these burps out of nowhere. I do have some peach tea though. What? 1013? I just barely started this session game. Then this was creative, I thought. I was like, wow. What a illusion. What a way to go, developers. Whoever developed this game really did a good job. Especially with the perspective it took. I almost um, killed myself. Oh! Well, now I did. <laughs> oh, Mario. I think I secretly like to torture him in these games. Oh! Goodness gracious! What's wrong with me? I know I'm myself, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, um... You got a Buzzy Beetle card? That's what their name is. Buzzy Beetles. Does it change if I'm teleport right here? Oh, actually there's no difference. Gimme in! Oh, I'm like, give me in here that shell's freeze frame all the way. 
Okay, I feel like I missed something at the beginning of this game, so I apologize that I didn't get to show off what was upstairs. Probably nothing of too big of a point. Come on, Mario, climb faster! Now that was a close call. I wonder if for those people who have torches in their houses, do you like having those lit or anything? Because I always see in movies like there's some expensive castles that have those torches and it's like, oh, I hope the drapes don't catch on fire. Dun, 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 dun. A plus, the game said. Now funny thing is all these spike boulders like hurt Mario as soon as he touches the top part, right? Now explain this to me, anyone. How is it Mario's not going, ah, ah, ouch, 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 my feet, my feet, my feet. <laughs> Why, human, do you torture me? Never thoroughly explain if you ask me. But anyways, we're getting back to business. Now there's these strange red blocks. No, not the minus block from Mario Party, because they actually have numbers on them. This is like that one chapter from the Luxury Express, which I wish I could play again. But probably won't be for some time, Mario, running out of time! Da, 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 da. Is this 4D right here? Because I really do like the drawing or point of view we get right here. I'm just like really staring at the clock and thinking like, there's not enough time! <gasps> Mario, hurry! Oh, too late. Alright, let's see. Uh oh, health and a save box here. Not a good thing. Or usually it's like predicting a bad situation. Let me get some peach tea. Ah, okay, I'm ready. My remote. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Boulders. Hey, it's a dragon! Again. Well, not a dragon, more like a digital dragon. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Or be dinner. Or lunch. Wait, scan initialized. Red cap detected. Blue overalls detected. Level 5 mustache detected. Wow, I guess people have a level of mustache procedures. Incredible, possible subject identification. But it is impossible. Hold your position, searching databanks. I love that we um, system loading thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but that's cool. Search complete, one positive match. System overlord, legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero, I am called Fractal. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. <laughs> it won't be that easy, oh no. What? Searching. Who speaks? So very nice to meet you and your mustache. I am Complex Master of Dimensions, the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. Oh! Sure, I know you. You're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. <laughs> yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time. <laughs> Ciao. Or see ya, whatever that means. Sure, what did he just say? Beep. I am error. Pre press any key to reset. I'm pressing reset! System not found. Insert install this. This not found. Please confirm. Raid error. Press enter. No response. System may bust. Melt. Application save working quick. You lost everything. Way to go. Waiting for a processor's 404 computer. Threat level upgraded. Give me a minute. Then he just like gets hacked. Poor dragon. All he was doing was waiting a thousand years until Mario showed up. Then when Mario did show up, he like did nothing. CTRL Del. 
I wonder if that new Godzilla movie is really good. I should check into it then. Now, funny thing is, when I played this, I like freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, how do I battle this robotic dragon? What do I do? Because you know, he does like this circular pattern in the background for no reason. But it's like, I can't attack him way back there. What do I do? So it's like he stays in one position. But um, actually it was kind of easy to figure out, so don't worry if you don't know what's happening. So what you do is you just um, dodge that dragon or fractal for now. Then watch. Then I was like, wait, what's going on? I can't do nothing. Sure, it's going to fly in from the right. I can sense it. You should flip back into 3D. Then do as Tippy says, and then jump. That's all that is to it. <laughs> I wish I knew what I was doing when I first tried this. Then as always, with every boss, there's always a, a um, weak spot. You just throw it. Yeah, poor Fracktail. I know you were just doing your job. Then just try to jump. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. But yeah, you just have to jump back onto Fractal, but um, because I'm an idiot and I jumped too early because of my nerves, I can't do nothing now. And I reached all the way to the edge. Interesting. Woohoo! So we'll just stay right here. I don't think you can jump on him this early. Yeah, it's too early, so. But yeah, you don't have to like keep doing this over and over, you can actually just jump onto that boss's um, back and only have to do it once. I be 3 d you. Sure, it looks like Fractal is charging straight at us, better watch out! I didn't see him. How did you see him, um, Tippy? Alright, let's do this the proper way now, game. I like how like, um, when I do this on my own time, I have a lot easier time doing it. But then it's like when I have to officially show you all how to... Or show you how my skills are. Then it's like, whoops, um, yeah, I made that mistake. Mario! There we go. Okay, I think he takes like 9 hits and then you're good to go. Okay, there we go. I thought you would have to jump, but I don't think you necessarily have to, you just have to... Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying no more, <laughs> so just beat him. System crash. Uh, I have malfunction. What have I done? Hero, hero, the air is mine. I am sorry, Mario Circuit, smoldering. Please, you must save our world. What about you, Fractal? What's gonna happen to you? So, computer-generated dinosaur or dragon has bones? Interesting. I would have never thought of that. So, everyone, if you start building mechanical machines, make sure there's some fake bones to go with it. But make it as realistic as possible. We don't want people saying that's so fake. Probably one of the best musics in the game, right, everyone? Wow, we already finished chapter one? Interesting. But that's kind of good, I guess. Welcome, hero. My name is Merlumina. I don't see her. Oh, there she is. It is a she, right? Kidding. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1,500 years. Way to set the record, blue overalls. Mario's like, whoa, another ghost. How many are you in this world? Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Sure, yes they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Make him sound alike. Sure, before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization held as a beacon of culture. 
Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we are powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows who authored that dark book. It foretold the events of the future. Really? On the last page, it was written that chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a great plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work and they created Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for our own protection waiting for you to arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. By the wheels of destiny it began to spin wittily out of control. It began with a small incident. At the time I was <laughs> young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail toward a maelstrom of love. See, I asked one out, but it was, well, you know. Basically, I said, he said, and then... That's basically the story. He said, she said, I said, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I always like how Mario falls asleep on these um, bizarre tales. And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will power to defeat the chaos. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form the Purity Heart. And that is all. Were you listening carefully? Yes. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would understand. That was the short version. It's up to you to find the hearts for they are our last and only hope. Help me, Mario. You're my only hope. Help me, Mario. You're my only hope. That's what she was saying in ghost form. So we found our first pure heart, and it's pretty yellow, so that's kind of cool. So this signifies that we've got two of them, in case you were wondering about those little hearts dancing on the side. You got a pure heart! Yes! I need a heart. See everyone, I'm just double of love. End of chapter! Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, Sure, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. I kept reading it as Tippy, or so I think. Of course we're gonna save. Why would not we save? Probably try to beat my time or something. Alright, let's see. Evil time! Oh yeah, Nastasia's new voice. Let's see if this works. Um... Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. Yeah, I gotta forgive me, Count. I failed ya. I never felt less chunky in me life. Well, I don't feel ever chunky. <laughs> so our hero is real, yes. A force to be reckoned with. I love his monocle. Nastasia, the prophecy, consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. <laughs> Black. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to a side pick for that purpose. Hmm, this pleases the Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when this hero is no more. <laughs> Black. Now for a spot to tea. <laughs> Silence. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that. But for now, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a second? Yeah, some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assim assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance, and while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Oh, Chugs, where's my tea? <laughs> I don't think it works as well as the security, but sounds good. Oh, I got this really tweaks me chin hairs. Well, I don't understand you because I don't have any chin hairs. Alright, let's see. Look at that candlelight. That's Oh my gosh, Princess Peach! Uh, huh? Ah, it's Princess Peach, everyone! It's Peach! <laughs> Peach! God, I don't know how many times I can love her. It's Lover! 
What? How did I end up napping here? Look at that dress form. That's just freaking awesome. Wait, didn't that nasty Count Black try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi, he... Huh? Luigi? Bowser? Anybody there? No Peach, you're by yourself. Oh no, you're only the one of the wedding party left standing, it looks like. I always love those Princess Peach moments, you know, after you beat a specific chapter and then you play her. And... But funny thing is, we're not with Bowser and we're not with Lord Groudus. We're actually with Count Black now. So you're finally awake, huh, Princess? Oh, you guys! Are you alright? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. We can't even find his groomness. You remember, King Bowser? In case you forgot, I had to remind you. I think he had a green tux on or something. <laughs> he doesn't know who Luigi is. Must be a newbie. Uh, Luigi, that's the guy. We don't know where he ended up either, princess. I don't think it's most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. Not safe here. We've got to clear this area now. Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for it. Uh-oh. A Koopa as Peach's escort? Not good. But what about you? Uh, I'm gonna do... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. No, leave no Koopa behind. Excellent quote. Good luck out there, Princess Peach. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady, we gotta evac this zone. Let's roll. Yay! We're Peach again. Oh, hey! Wow, for the first time ever, the game actually let us have her umbrella. That's a first, so that's cool. I think this is Peach's first time using the umbrella. Um, you give up. There's no hope for escape. Oh yeah, look at that new animation too. Oh, that's the wrong voice. Oh, hell the glorious count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. You'll love it. What's this insubordination? Johnson, I'm your captain. Drop it, give me 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your orders mean nothing. See, they've already sworn internal alliance to Count Black, eh? And now you need to... So I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwash. Hey, it's 10.30 right now. She was a little late, but okay. You mess with the wrong Koopa, I serve Bowser. You'll tell this count. Oh! Hell, Black. Hmm, yeah, there, isn't that better? So listen, there's still a few problems with the... Few problems with minions that have a sword allegiance. Oh shoot, it's breaking. You be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Right there. I think that's the only time you see Peach do that form. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. We've got to clear st clear this area stat. Okay. Uh, yeah, this Koopa has to be a uh, new recruit because he's like, he doesn't know who Luigi is. He doesn't know who Princess Peach is. Oh, hell, Blick. Didn't you hear that? Oh. Didn't you hear that, lady? Sounds like an entire enemy platoon behind there. Clear the area. There's, there's an entire squad or something. Anything in this door? We'll just go through all these doors. Looks like we're outside. Must be the bridge, so we can run away. But why would you run away in this weird purple stuff? Ding! No! Dead end! Well, staying here won't do any us any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back! Yeah, no! Your friend there had it, right? This is a dead end! Oh no, it's them! Who, who are you, anyway? 
Fine cover, fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Bro! Oh hell, Count Black. Wow, princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your luck runs out right here. It's time you come on over to the dark side. Come and serve the cow. You don't know the power of the dark side. Never. Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Because I gotta brainwash you real quick. Mm. Poor Peach, I'm sorry. Wah! Oh no! I just found her and she's gone again! What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. Oh, Peach, I just saw you and you're gone. I'm sad. Um... I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Uh, uh, you're awake at last? Where am I? Is this a human home? Ugh. Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you. I am a tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day, that was the day our strategy was set into motion. Help will always be given to those who ask for it. I think I went over time, but it was totally worth it. If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. Uh, sure, first to Merlin's place. Alright, so we got our first pure heart, so that means we're going to be moving on to the second portion chapter of this game. And um, we had our Princess Peach moment, and funny thing is, we do not know what happened to her. So now I have to go look for her somewhere else, I guess. You returned so soon! I can see from your faces that it went well indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please step right in. Okay, Merlin, why are you stalking me now? Alright, everyone, so that was today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and please stay tuned for more Super Paper Mario, finally. Until next time, bye!